Hi, in this video, I'm just going to go through the whole process uh, as an overview of Maxima. Okay, so how do you use Maxima? What's it good for? Uh, what's the power that we have in this app? Okay, so the main thing is you, you're going to get these leads, right? These leads are fresh leads. Uh, this database is constantly updated, and it's very powerful. What you want to do is you want to filter it, okay? You want to create a campaign first, right? You can add a campaign here. I'm just, I could just, I'm going to call this dogs, okay? Dog. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my leads. And then I'm going to filter, uh, not by country, but just by keyword. I'm just going to put dog and hit search. So as you can see, I have 551 leads for, for domains that have been registered for dogs that have the word dog in it, okay? And you can further filter this so that you can only get the ones that have an actual email where you can contact them, okay? So let's filter it even down further. So now I have, have 184 emails that I can contact and ask them, hey, do you guys need a website to be built? I charge this much, and then you can create the website uh, before they even hire you, and then you can... Uh, give them kind of like a sense of like, oh, look, this is already a beautiful website that I can create for you. So you don't have to uh, hire a web uh, developer and do all that other stuff that's really annoying. Okay, so I'm, let's say I add, I want to add, so I'm going to add the people I think are going to need a web developer or a website. Okay, I'm going to select my campaign dog. Okay, I'm going to add the emails. Okay, 10 emails added successfully. Okay, so the next step is to actually create the site. So I'm going to create a site. I'm just going to choose one of the many templates that we have here and then edit it with like dog photos. Okay, so I'm just going to pause my video here. I'm going to go get some dog photos so I can show you. All right, so I downloaded some photos from a website called Unsplash, which is a great resource to get photos. Okay, so let's choose a, okay, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, I'm going to call this dog site one. I'm going to click create. Okay, I'm going to change this. I'm just going to edit this. Okay, I'm going to change this image. To, let's see maybe this one okay perfect it's looking good okay this is another image I'm going to change it to, let's see, there you go. So as you can see, I'm going to save this. Okay, obviously you can edit more of the pages, do the SEO. Okay, let's do the SEO since we're here. Okay, click on pages. Okay. Okay, update. Okay, perfect. We're going to save. All right, let's go back to our dashboard. It's for your site. It's right there. We can preview it. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Well, we can actually publish it. Okay, we have to put in our host name and information and all that stuff. We can do that later. Um, okay, let's. Uh, Go to the traffic. Okay, upload some posts. I 
can schedule it. Perfect. Schedule now. Obviously, you have to add an account, but that's kind of the whole process. That's all you need to do. That's it. Okay, so once you log into your dashboard, all you have to do is click on leads, okay? Once you click on leads, one thing that you might, might want to do first is create a campaign. So let's say you are in the United States of America, right? I would create a campaign for certain locations or cities that I'm doing. So in this case, let's say I do New York, okay? So I'm going to create a campaign by clicking the create campaign here. Okay, so I click on that button. Then I'm going to click on add a campaign. And then I'm going to call I'm going to put the name of my campaign. Okay, I'm going to put New York. Okay, I'm going to hit submit. So once you create your campaign, it will show up here. As you can see, I created my campaign New York. It tells me when I created it. And you can also view the emails. In this case, there won't be any emails because I haven't added any emails yet. So in order to do that, you'll have to go back to leads. So let's go back to leads. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to go to the filter and I want to select my country first. So in this case, United States. Okay. Once you do that, click search. Okay. And then after that, now that it's in the United States, now you can search for the city. So in this case, I'm going to put New York. And then I'm going to hit search. Okay, as you can see, in New York, I have 399 leads. So how do I add these leads, these emails, to my campaign? So what you want to do is you want to scroll and select the leads that you want. So let's say I click these, these leads here. Scroll back up, select your campaign, in this case, New York, and then I'm going to click Add Emails. Six emails added successfully. So if I go back to my campaign here, New York, and I go to View Emails, I'll see all the emails and then the names, if it has it, here. And then I could send an email from here. And that's how you add emails to your campaigns from the leads. How to create a website. So Maxima is very powerful because we have a lot of templates ready and available for you to use to create a website. So let's say you want to create a website. All you have to do is go to your dashboard, log in, or hey, once you're logged in, you'll see this, and then click on create site, this big plus icon. And as you can see here, we have a lot of templates that you can use. So if you keep scrolling, you'll see more and more. Okay, more and more will show up and load. So like this one would be nice for a clothing. This would be great for a gym. This is for a, a law office or a, a paralegal office or something. So depending on the website that you want to create, there are many different templates that you can use. So let's say I want to create, um, let's see, the gym one. So I'm going to go back and choose the stamina template. Where did it go? Right here. So once you click it, name your site. So I'm just going to call this gym. Call this John's gym. Click on create. And Maxima will create the website load up the template. Now the great thing about Maxima is that you can edit your site live. So what you see is what you're going to get. So in this case, I'm going to change this here. I'm going to change it. I'm going to edit it and make it a quote. So I'm going to make it a simple quote. I spelling exercise wrong. There you go. 
And there you go. So there's many things you can edit, but that is how to create a website. There, I'll go into more in depth on how to use the different features of the website in the following videos.